Say on streets. On streets. Say on streets. On and made it. Right. Made it. Whose streets? On streets. Time after you. What's up, what's up, it's your boy Bass, y'all tuned in to another episode of Ends Podcast, I got Curry, and I got Curry with me, man, so, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, man, where you from, yeah. you know so, I mean, you know, I mean, I originally came from Thailand, but, uh, you know, I mean, I'm resident, I mean, I'm resident here in Minnesota for the yeah. longest, uh, so, uh, I mean, I've been in the east side of St. Paul for the longest, so, I mean, I'm yeah. still in the east side of St. Paul, so, <laughs> I'm still there, you know what yeah. I'm saying, so, yeah. So, uh, what was it like uh, growing up, you know, in the Twin Cities? What was it like growing up in the Twin Cities? <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, I mean, I grew up in the Twin Cities, not so much different from somebody yeah. who was born here, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but then I came here when I was really young, so yeah. I mean, it's, it's not nothing, nothing that I really adapt to. So, yeah. um, you know, nothing, I mean, I, I, see it, I see it all too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I live in the project, grew up in the project, so, you know I mean? I, I, I see, you know, the goods and the bads. Oh, for sure, for sure. That's real, that's real. So, how did you get started in the world? Uh, go more into what do you currently do? Like, what is you involved in? I know that you do work in the community, mm-hmm. but other individuals don't know what work you do. Sure. So, you know. so uh, right now, I mean, you know, I'm currently in my uh, doctorate uh, yeah. program. Hey, shout out to that. Shout out to that. Yeah, so I'm at uh, Concordia University to finish up my uh, EDD program. You say Paul. You say Paul for real. <laughs> Yeah, so, so that's where I'm at. Uh, finish it up. This is my last semester. Um, yeah. And after that, I just really writing my, my dissertation. Um, you know, and you know, my background is education too. So you know, I'm really into you know giving back to the youth, the adolescents, and things like that. Um, because you know, I was one of those people who was you know that really valued education, but you know, still in love with education. I got older, um, accounting for a lot of you know. Um, I guess leaders, um, teachers who you know really put an impact in my life and you know change me around, um, things like that. So I, I you know I just want to give it back. So like your your, your influence is kind of what helped you get you started. Right, I was definitely you know yeah. and I just want to do better for myself because yeah. you know I, I didn't want to disappoint my mom because you know, you know, right. you know, I mean I have two brothers you know, who who are involved with the law and things like that. So yeah. you know I just try to do better for myself and you know yeah. I just I see how they live their life and I didn't want to be a part of that. You know, so. Yeah. You know, transition to you know uh, the work that you do at Emerge. Uh, what do you do? At <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, right now, you know, I mean, uh, right now, my title is uh, workforce coordinator. Yeah. Before I was workforce, I was a trainer, a uh, coach. Um, so that means I was just helping people, you know, be you know enrolled into a uh, training program at uh, Henry Technical College. Um, and then I work my way towards uh, to be uh, a restore coach. Um, and with that, I work directly with the OJP grant, the Office Justice Program grant. Um, and I uh, help the people, you know, who are incarcerated at the ACF Adult Correction Facility in Plymouth. So I was really helping them out, you know, doing a work readiness job, getting them employed that, you know, I mean, building goals and objectives for themselves so they can be successful once they are post-released. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, with that work that I've been doing, I guess, yeah. I, you know, I got put into this role as, as a workforce coordinator. So kind of just overseeing, you know, the work, similar to work, what, what, I, what I have experienced. Um, and making sure that we are touching base with the community here in the north. Um, and, you know, just anybody who need assistance for, you know, for whatever they're doing as far as employment and career wise. No, that's real. Damn, that's, that's what's up. Like, so how did you find your way to that path? Because, like, I know that you, like, man, like, you was touching on, like, man, you want to, you know, basically better yourself, but you want to better the community. You yeah. Know, touching on the youth and, like, the work that you're doing, right. like, what you're doing, like being a workforce coach, uh, training, right. basically, like you helping develop, you, you know, like our future workforce. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Like, you feel me? And helping, you know, a lot of individuals that probably didn't 
know or was just seeking that, you know, like just seeking that, sure. you know, like that assistance. Sure. So like, what kind of drew you, you know, to, to that path? Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, funny, funny story is that, you know, I mean, my, my, my background again is, is education. Yeah. So when I was done with my, you know, my undergrad, you know, I, I, I was a paraprofessional. Um, so I was working with special, special needs students. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I was in my master's program in counseling. Um, once I finished that up, I did, um, I had to quit that job or you know, that profession. And then, you know, I went into become a, uh, finish up and I had to do an internship through uh, Minneapolis Public School yeah. for the Office of Student Black Successful Student Achievement. Yeah. Um, so with that, you know, and then once I'm done, I was just looking for employment. I was just, you know, I mean, again, I'm, I'm human. So yeah, I, need, no, I need money. No, I need info. Got to pay my school loans and all these stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I happened to find my mom from Emerge. And when I was looking at Emerge, I'm like, oh, man, they're doing closer to what I, oh, I want to do. Yeah. You know, although it's not in a school setting, it's closer to what I'm passionate about. It's helping people at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, that's why I found Emerge, and um, that's where it took off. Man, so it's not like, you know, your purpose and what your, well, I guess what your goal is. That's what the question is going to be. But some of your purpose, you feel me, is helping, you feel me, just, man, you want, you want to help. Right, right. You want to help. So what's, um, you, I feel like you touch sort of on the end goal of what yourself is, um, and just the end goal of what you, you want your work or your legacy. Mm-hmm. Like, so I feel like what you, for what you're saying, you know, the end goal is you want to help. Right. But the end goal for you is helping the youth. Right. Like, long, you know, like, long, like, long story short, you want to get to some position where you can have an impact on you. Exactly. That's just dope. Exactly. And uh, that, that's, yeah. the like, you know, took, yeah, that's the reason why I took on, yeah, that's the reason why I took on this position, you know, yeah. I want to, you know, build more experience and have more experience for myself. Yeah. Um, because, you know, every every time, you know, people talk to me, like, oh, man, you're so young, or, yeah. you know, you're so young and you don't have enough experience, but, you know, I'm looking for a position that's a lot higher than what I make because I think I have the knowledge. Yeah. Um, and I just... I have so many ideas that I want to employ, but you I can't. Right. Things don't got to die. Maybe, maybe. That's what it is, you right, know. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, again, the, the end of my goal is you know, to really build a school for, for, for you know, the community. Yeah. And when I say the community, you know, I want to build a school for people who, who have similar experiences as I do. Yeah. Um, and, you know, where the, student, the teacher really values the students like me. Uh, as, you know, when I was going to school, I didn't feel like I was really valued yeah. uh, because I wasn't the smartest. I wasn't, you know, the most clever kid, but you know, I used my, my street knowledge yeah. and applied that to education and made it through, um, through, through, through high school, <laughs> middle school, you name it all, college, yeah. even my master, even my doctorate. That's what I do. I just yeah. use what I know and apply that to education. So, yeah. so I'm first and foremost, I'm saying congrats. Man. Thanks, man, thanks. Man, staying on that path and just. Yeah, man, just being resilient and also just for what you just do for the community. Just sure. overall, and that's just who you are. You feel me? That's just who you are. So and that's why, like, you know, it's, it's a pleasure, you feel me, having your hands podcast and really being able to just touch on, you feel me, just different different aspects of who you are. And then, uh, if individuals don't know, like, how would they get in contact with you to, you know, work with you or, yeah. you feel me, or just pick your brain about, sure. you know, if they trying to go down the same the same route. Right. Like, uh, is it a certain time, place, or something that can hit you up at? Yeah, well, I mean, they can always go to Emerge. Okay. I mean, I'm always here Monday through Friday. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they can stop in here anytime. We only have time about my work related, but, yeah. you know, what, what I would like to get at and what they would yeah. like to get at. I mean, it don't matter. Come here, we can set up time. We just, you know, go and have a chit chat about not my work related. Yeah, you know, no, no, no. So, I know what you mean, but yeah. more so about their work. Right, they exactly. Plan. And then from there on, you know, we can always collaborate, things like that, yeah. outside of work. Um, things like that. So, you know, and then from there on, you know, if you want to get my personal contact, I mean, that's when I'll pass it out. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it, it works. And then, like, I know the talk you have like, uh, like, for, y'all be having, like, like, how do they, uh, find out more about, like, the, uh, the info session? Yeah. So, yeah, so every Tuesday, so every Tuesday here, uh, I say uh, the second, the fourth of the week of the month, yeah. every Tuesday, um, at, 10 o'clock, that's when we do our info session. Anybody's willing to come by here and yeah. learn more about the service, the programs that we offer. And again, we have so many programs here. We have workforce, adult workforce. We have youth program. We got education program. So I mean, whichever one you feel like you're needed, definitely. Um, so that's the Right. <laughs> come by here, you know, we'll, you know, we got a good staff here that you know, can assist one on one, you want to, uh, things like that. So definitely. For sure, for sure. Well, I appreciate you spending your time, man. I ain't gonna try to hold you up for too much longer, man. Sure. 
I ain't gonna lie, you pretty much got straight to the point. Like, you pretty much got straight to the point, man. You pretty much just went off of just who you are as a person, man, and just what's your whole outlook, man, and what you're trying to do, man. Hey, I can bring you on that. You sure. Me? And, so, you know, we all about making the most out of our current circumstance. Oh, yeah. And that's what it's really all about, man, because that's the, I feel like it's the mindset, so you're thinking. Oh, yeah, for sure. It, it is. Like, how you do? Right. <laughs> it's a good time, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like the great Kobe says, it's a good time. So, yeah. you know, we got to keep it. Awesome, so. Oh yeah, most definitely, man. So y'all tune in the ends podcast, man. But we about to get ready to uh, tune out. If y'all want to catch up with him, y'all heard me say, come to the info session on Tuesdays. And then, you know, is it anything you want to say? No, just you know, come by, swing by. If you want to learn more about the program itself or yeah. me as an individual person, uh, yeah. feel free. And you need some guidance, I'm here to assist. You know, I'm not holding back. So uh, come. Yeah, for sure, man. So. We're going to be looking forward to seeing some of y'all faces on 